Okay, I actually have to start this over because <laughs> I forgot to hit record. Ah, uh, silly me. I'd actually gotten pretty far along. Okay, so we have one hatched in here and uh, 10 others that are black headed. These were not black headed last night. Um,. Some are more black-headed than others. I'm considering moving the slightly less black-headed ones into their own container because I found this little cannibal trying to eat one of the other eggs. And we know that I am a little paranoid, stop shaking hand, about caterpillar cannibalism, which brings me to a mystery. When I went to bed last night, there was a caterpillar in here. There is not a caterpillar in here this morning. Now, I do the mesh coverings. I usually do more than one. So, you imagine the scene. We're recreating the scene here. We had several smaller screens, and we had the bigger screen. Over like this and then I had it weighted down with the fake food food babies and some additional Tupperwares and you know just some various stuff just weighing the screen down because it was covering multiple containers and they're not all the same height so I had it weighed down pretty good apparently I missed a spot because I woke up this morning Took off all the stuff, took off the top screen, took off the bottom screens, and there was not a caterpillar in sight in here. And I started looking in here, and there's some little spots of green vomit there. Um, I think, no, this one, this one looks vomit free. Okay, so we have green vomit in here, and we have a little poop. There was his size poop thing. So I think there was a weak spot in the screen here, or a spot just big enough for him to get through. And I think he got through here and went over here, and I think he ate him. That's what I think happened, because I cannot find this caterpillar anywhere. I have been searching the table, the floor, the couch everything on the table. I checked in my milkweed disposal bucket. No sign of this little caterpillar. So, yeah, I think I had a case of caterpillar cannibalism. I hope I'm wrong and I hope I find him because that would just be too sad. Uh, on to the Guys that I started on the fake diet, they are growing. So that means they're eating it. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Because otherwise I would not have enough food to feed all the eggs that I have. And if they had rejected the diet, I would have, um, as soon as they hatched, moved them out on the plants and let nature take its course because they would have been thinned down by predators. One or two may have survived. And there are enough plants out there to feed them. Which is what I'm trying to do is leave enough of my plants that any wild caterpillars that are out there have a chance to make it. And that brings me to experiment number three. I had been researching alternative food sources for caterpillars and I read that people had had success feeding them butternut squash. Uh, the, the kind of general rule of thumb is that they need to be two or three days away from going into chrysalis. So that's what I did. All of these guys have been fifth in star for at least two days. Uh, which is why these two are not on it. This guy's antennas, well, they're finally starting to uncurl, but they were tightly curled. They didn't want to uncurl. That one just didn't either. 
Uh, they just molted into fifth and star uh, yesterday morning. So they are not ready for the butternut squash. As you can see, they are very happily eating away. And I took the big kids and put them in here on it and they are very happily eating away. So, yay, during their hungriest stage where they consume the most food, uh, they have gotten two days of non-stop milkweed leaves and now they'll have a couple days of butternut squash, which means we'll have some very interesting orange poop. Um, yeah. Is it sad that I think that their poop color is interesting? Probably says something very sad about me, but oh well. On to happier news that doesn't involve cannibals. Um, we had six C closures this morning. There's one, two, number three back there. Four, five. Wait, there should be four in here. Where is... Why are you down there? Alright, so four sitting on the floor. We're going to help this one get up. Because he shouldn't be on the floor. <clears throat> now, one of these four was the one that I was worried about. Uh-oh, do we have messed up wings? Please don't have messed up wings. We don't want messed up wings. That one's wings look a little odd. 